They took $2,000 of my money. Why the f am I not on a flight back to war? Help me! Help me! Help me! Fuck you on the finger! I don't want to touch you. Most people are able to board their flights without incident, but what happens when entitled passengers challenge law enforcement? Here are seven instances of airport Karens being a menace, starting with the infamous case of 30-year-old Karina. On January 8, 2023, police were called into the airport to control Karina, who was kicked off the airplane due to her yelling, spitting, and cursing at the employees. As the officers arrive at the scene, they find Karina walking away from the plane to the restroom. Excuse me, miss. Miss, you're not free to leave. Okay, no, you're not. Come here. Right. What's going on? I'm not okay. Okay, well, I need to right now. I'm a police officer. I'm here to check on you. Thank you. I need to right now. Okay, open the stall. Let me let me I'm not, I'm not comfortable to do that in a second. Okay, well I can talk to you through the stall. They don't just want anybody to get off the flight. There has to be a reason. They literally asked the whole crew. The whole crew did not say they needed me off the flight. They didn't. I voluntarily left because I know how it's like letting your flight like can you open the door so we can go figure this out? Um, no, I don't feel comfortable with that because I feel like the, the whole reason I don't feel comfortable. Can you open the stall? I'm still. I'm, I'll let you stay on the toilet and no, I'll just. I'm, I'm gonna stand right here. I'm not even gonna come in. I'm not even gonna come in. You're gonna arrest me for what? Who said I was gonna arrest you? Karina refuses to come out of the bathroom stall and cooperate with the officers. She lets the officers know that her dad is a lieutenant, so the law doesn't apply to her. The whole ordeal lasts for several minutes, with Karina even threatening to call 911 on the officers. It's no! No, I don't feel safe. Can I just call 911 from here? Yeah. Can I please have your phone? Because I don't feel safe. Yeah. Honestly, but can you I open the door? No, no, no. I want to call. I, you're, you're we are 911. Yeah. No, no, you're restricting me from 911 access because no, I want to We that. are 911. No, no, you're restricting me from 911 access. That's a felony. Did, did you, so did you have anything to drink that would make them think that you would need to be on the plane? What? Why would they keep you off? Eventually, Karina comes out of the stall after the officer tells her she might be able to get rebooked. Well, well do you want to go see if you can get on the plane? Because it's still there. I don't, I'm not on the plane. I'm not going to their whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So but if you if you go over there civilized, maybe you can I swear to God, be the most civilized person here. Okay, well let's go. Let's go. Thank you. We're gonna be here with you the whole time. And you, you swear you didn't have anything to drink today? You're fine. Yes, it's fine. You did not have anything to drink today. I'm I am not being out of control. Because you can fly if you haven't had anything to drink and they think you safe to fly. But there has to be a reason for them to kick you off the plane. So just be honest. Just be honest. To me. Yeah, let's just go here. Just be honest. She doesn't tell the officer she had anything to drink. However, she does say she didn't do anything for people to think she was out of control. When the officers go and ask the airline worker, however, they get a different story. She was, she was I mean, but did she do anything other than, like, how did you, how, or, how did you tell she was, she was toxic? I didn't do it. Uh, it was Malik, so he might be able to oh. answer better, yeah. Malik, what was that lady doing? Um, but y'all had to leave the aircraft? Screaming, spitting, cussing, recording, everything. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> thank you. Please don't touch me if you don't have a reason to. Okay, I have a reason to, okay? You're, I'm arrested? Yes, you're going to be arrested for public intoxication, okay? Take your backpack off. Yep, and the reason is because I talked to the airline and they said that you were kicking and screaming and causing a Take disturbance. I'm not doing any of that. Karina is put under arrest for public intoxication. However, she does everything she can to make the arrest as hard for the police as possible. No, I, I was not kicking and screaming anywhere on that plane. No, okay. pull up the finish. All right, okay. that's Karina. No, just calm down. No, okay. shoot me then. We're not gonna do no. that. We're not gonna do that. Well, I tried to help you just one time. No, 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 not you. But you, like, he's a liar. Because he just said some shit that wasn't true. I don't want to question you. Where's your dad a lieutenant? He's Rhode Island. Rhode Island? Yeah. Well, he can't help Rhode you here Island. in Texas. Why not? He's all the way in Rhode Island. Why not? But I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. If somebody doesn't shut up, they all shut up. After she is told that her lieutenant father won't be able to help her get out of this situation, Karina realizes she won't be getting her way and gets agitated and starts resisting arrest even harder, which causes her to be neutralized to the ground. Do not. Do not. Do not. I don't want to touch you. Hey. I don't want to touch me. I said I don't want him touching me. Stop. I don't feel comfortable with him. 
You want to send them? I need you to say that you're not going to kick my officers, okay? Yes, Daddy. I promise. Daddy, I'll be a good girl. Okay, so this, is what, this is what officers try to tell girls to do. Yes, Daddy, I'll be a good girl. I don't want to touch you. Come on. 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 Come on
you. When you get fired and you suck on a fat d and you suck it to hell, you can go f yourself. This is bullshit. Look at me. I spent two thousand dollars to be on a flight, and this is what I got. Don't ever buy an airplane ticket again, you f Idiot. You would think that one would chill out after being tased and pinned down by law enforcement, but not Brent. He keeps tormenting the officers and yelling out derogatory terms. I spent two thousand dollars to fly from Medford to Longview and Longview to Medford. We're gonna help you. Please, this leg, kick this leg up. Kick this leg up. Kick this leg up. We're gonna roll you up. Yeah, just this one. Up to your belly. There you go. There you go. There you go. Roll him up. Roll him up. Come on. There you go. There you go. All right, I get the other. All right. You stand up, ready? One, two, three. Okay, all right. I literally did nothing but accept and ask what my issues were. Why is it that I couldn't take my carry-on and my backpack onto the airplane that I paid for? That's all I asked. Then they told me I couldn't take the flight no more. I'm sorry, first and foremost, for how I came off, because I am a business professional. I try to handle myself in a professional manner everywhere that I go. It's been a long day, a lot of travel, a lot of bullshit, and I've spent so much money to get to this point here, and I'm still dealing with this. So, please forgive me for the, the brashness. I don't care about the, the legality of it. They, they can throw a legal statement on me, I'll, I'll pay it. I want you to know that personally, I did not mean that against you. It seems like Brent has realized that he got himself in a tricky situation and is trying to apologize his way out of any charges. If only it worked like that, had Brent cooperated with the officers from the start, he could have gotten away with just a misdemeanor and a fine, but now he's looking at serious felony charges and potentially jail time. He keeps apologizing profusely throughout his medical, but quickly returns to his true sullen at the car ride back to the station. I can assure you that the money that I will spend will be to buy a private jet and I will never fly ever in my life. And I should be back at home with my kids right now. This would be a full-fledged fucking lawsuit against the state. All I did is ask why my bags that I purchased to be on that plane were not being put on that plane. And then you know what happened? I got tasered. Brett was charged with assault on a peace officer, a jailable offense, as well as resisting arrest and public intoxication. Anyone can be arrested for causing a nuisance at the airport, but what happens when foreign nationals think they're immune to the law? She keeps coming in and bothering this no, guy. He no. said he doesn't know her. I had a lot of wine. You had a lot of wine? And she's trying to claw him. Relax. You scratch him, that's a whole nother charge. And you don't get out tonight. On May 5th, 2023, a 911 call was made to report a highly intoxicated woman harassing random people and also refused to leave the bar after being told several times. As the officers arrive at the scene, they find the woman standing outside the bar. Hey, this is all you guys. What's going on? She keeps coming in and bothering this no, guy. He no. said he doesn't know her. So let's ask her to leave. He doesn't want to talk. Are you with somebody? With them. Who's them? Them. Over there. Where are you flying to? Those people, them? They, I don't think they're with you. No. Yeah, she looked away real fast. Oh, I had, I had a lot of wine. You had a lot of wine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we can tell. Yeah, I think you did. Are you traveling alone, yes I'm or no? I'm focusing and they're lying. Okay? Are you traveling alone, yes or no? I am. The woman admitted to having a lot of wine and is very clearly intoxicated. She can't think straight and is having a hard time answering the officer's question. This alum is enough to warn an arrest. You're under arrest. We're placing you under arrest for public intoxication, okay? Put your hands behind your back. Don't resist. Relax. Hey, relax. Don't okay. resist. Hey, it's not worth it, okay? This is a ticket. We're going to give you somewhere to, to sleep it off. And that's it, okay? But you need to relax. Although public intoxication generally doesn't lead to incarceration, police reserve the right to hold the person in jail until they have sobered up to ensure they don't endanger themselves or others. The officer tries to explain to the woman that if she's cooperative, she'll be out of prison before nightfall. However, as you'll see, the woman will only make her situation worse for herself. Pull that hand. She's trying to claw me. Relax. Dude, hey, you, you scratch him, that's a whole nother charge. And you don't get out tonight. Don't no, scratch him. You're trying to scratch me. I know what you're doing. It you scratched like yourself, you too. Of course Relax. you're trying to scratch people. Relax, ma'am. Come on. No. Why are you fighting us? Where's my stuff? It's right here. Look. Your stuff's right there. Look. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Let's go. Walk. Tell your brother don't right. hurt me. There's you're guys. hurting me. <laughs> this guy is hurting me. You need to relax. Okay. Like, can we get He's hurting me. She's He's not hurting you. He is. She kicked me and she had butter. Yeah. So what? 
So what? Now you have assault on a peace officer. The woman's initial misdemeanor quickly escalated into a felony when she assaulted a police officer. Assaulting a public servant is a serious offense that can lead to significant prison time. Despite being restrained in handcuffs, she continued to exacerbate her situation, persistently assaulting the officer throughout the duration of her arrest, further complicating her legal troubles. My, my hands off! They don't hurt me! They need to let my hands off! Put your legs back up. No! Put your legs back up. Put your legs up. Put your legs up. No! Yeah, listen to me. Listen. No. Put we're going, put hey, we're not going very far. Put your foot no. up. Relax. They will take those no. handcuffs off. I want them off. No! I didn't do anything! I want them off! No! I want them off! Oh! What are you? You're a man! Continuing to scream, she exacerbates the officer's challenges, making their job increasingly difficult. Upon being taken to the station, her uncooperative demeanor persists. She also says she can't be detained in the USA as she lives in Germany. Why am I restrained? I'm a US citizen. Why am I restrained? What have I done? Can you stand up for please? No? Can you please stand up for No? Can you tell me why? You're, you're, uh, you're I'm, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. So I'm restrained. From the US military because I'm drunk. I'm Who are you? Dead. Why am I here? Because you're I live in Germany. No, I live in Germany. Well, Why in, am in I the here? US, you're intoxicated, so that's what we're Okay, we're but at, so. I live in Germany, so we better be very careful here. Okay. Okay. So I need you to get up and stand in this So I chair. need you to tell me why the fuck I'm here because. Public intoxication. Uh, for what? I live in Germany. Well. You're in the U.S., so you have to buy a buy the U.S. I don't live in the U.S. It doesn't matter. No. Yeah. I don't. You're in the U.S. right now, not Germany, so. So? So what? Warnham is charged with a felony assault on a public servant, as well as misdemeanors of resisting arrest and public intoxication. As entertaining as this case was, it pales in comparison to the infamous Boo Karen. This guy chuckled me! He threw me to the ground! They all saw it! They all saw it! I didn't deserve this! I know. I didn't fucking deserve this! On May 25th, 2021, officers responded to a call regarding a public disturbance that was ongoing at the airport in Dallas, Texas. The woman, a 62-year-old going by the name of Tear, was yelling at the terminal counter. As the officers arrive at the scene, they find Tear having a meltdown. Ma'am, what happened? This guy chuckled me! Ma'am. What the f*** is wrong with him? Calm down. Keep it down. Okay. No, you need to talk to him. He chuckled at me. Down. They saw it! Ma'am. They saw it! Ma'am, calm down. So that guy! Ma'am, needs to be arrested. Come on, let's go over here. You saw it. You saw it. You saw it. Ma'am. You saw it. Ma'am. Keep. He chuckled at me. Ma'am, what's your name? I'm Officer Alton. He threw me to the ground. What's your name? My name is Terry Ann Blues. Look him over here and we'll talk, okay? I'm the manager of the airport here. That's not Who saw him choking, choking? Who saw him choke me to the ground? I saw you run through the door when you weren't supposed to. He and I saw him push you out the door. You deserve it. I'm pretty sure you're mistaken. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. You f. Tara was denied access to the flight for yelling at the staff. She ran towards the terminal bridge door in an attempt to get through, when a male passenger allegedly pushed her away. When the officers tried to get Tara's account of the incident, she said the male passenger chokeholded her and threw her to the ground. The person she was talking about, however, gave a different account. She was making a ruckus over there. She came up behind us to get in the boarding line, and it wasn't her group, I guess. The lady right here told her to make a good board. And busted through. She tried to bust through? Yeah. She came over and shut the door to us. The door was halfway shut and she came rushing through the door. I pushed her back. She said that you grabbed her neck. I pushed her. Meanwhile, Tara continues making a scene. Calm down and breathe. <laughs> no! Let's go have a seat. No! Can you Stop it! Tara. This guy chokeholded me! Look at the camera! 
was. Okay. He threw me to the ground and choke holding me. You want to walk through the water fountain? Okay. Come on. Yeah. Let's have you sit no, down. I'm no, I'm not going to the way. I'm no. not. No. No, no, no. Hey, move that way. Come on, Tim. Let's, let's walk with me, okay? Here. They, I'm going to take you to get some water. Let's walk with you, okay? You want to go get some water? Okay? Good Here, give me they your... all saw it. They all saw it. Okay, Terry. He's still there in the door. The guy that choke holding me. Terry, okay. Terry, okay. Here, get some water. Yeah, don't care about my shit. I don't care. I just want to go home! Terry. I didn't deserve this. I know. I didn't fucking deserve this. I, know, I really didn't. Did you have anything to drink today, Terry? Yes, I did. It's not against the law. No, it's not. How much did you have a drink today? I had a couple of margaritas. A couple of margaritas. You can go talk to the bartender. Okay. I had a very fine time with those people until okay. I got here. Tara admits that she had a few drinks earlier that day, and judging by the way she's behaving, she seems intoxicated. Drinking in an airport itself is not illegal, but when passengers start acting up and causing a scene like Tara's doing, it can attract the attention of airport security or law enforcement personnel. They may also be subject to further scrutiny, denied boarding, or even removed from the premises if their behavior becomes disruptive or poses a risk to themselves or others. <laughs> yes! What are you gonna run the report on me? Yeah, it's can in I, there. Can I get it? Go ahead! Okay. Here, keep breathing. You're fine, okay? Keep breathing. What do you want to see? I have a report in Washington State. No, I just need your where is it at in your Okay, we're just gonna I'm getting more than I got it. She said yeah, I'm gonna This really makes me sick! Hey, no, I, this is not right! You got the poster. You let another passenger choke hold me! Nobody hey. fucking took a report, nothing! Hey, calm down. It's all on camera! Hey. You Relax. bet I'm gonna fucking get it! Okay. I'll, re I'll request it. I'll request yeah. every surveillance camera in there. this goddamn airport! I just wanted to get her drink information out of it. And why nobody stood up for me? Why nobody saw it? Terry. Everybody saw it! Terry. Nobody would stand up and said this girl was chokeholded by a passenger! Terry. Shame on all of you! Terry, calm down. I don't give a fuck! Terry, calm down. Despite several commands by the officer to calm down, Terry keeps yelling and making a ruckus, and the officers realize they have to arrest her. Unsurprisingly, the arrest doesn't go smoothly. You fucking piece of shit! Terry, put your other arm behind your back. Arm, Terry. I'm not, no. Oh, I'm being arrested for being chokehold. Please, somebody film this. Please, someone film this. She's being Don't recorded, ma'am. Please, worry. someone film this. Please. You want to lock it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not being transported. Sit down. Take the guns off of me. You're not taking them off. Get her, stuff. I need my stuff. We're gonna grab it, Terry. We're gonna grab it. Wait, wait, wait. This shit's cutting my ass. It's cutting my wrist. Come on. You said you'd help me. I did. Readjust the cuffs then. Are you gonna, Are you gonna relax for me to do it? I couldn't put them on correctly because you kept moving. I will calm down. You fucking fix them. Okay, sit up. Sit up. Stop. You're hurting my. Terry. Goddamn wrist. You have to sit back, Terry. Fix them. Terry, sit back. No, I'm not going to until you fix them. Right. You're cutting into my wrist. Terry. No, you fix the fucking handcuffs. Terry, we're about to roll. No! Fix them. Every time I try to fix them, I'm not going to move. You try one more time. Just roll it. Let's go. God damn you fuckers. Hey, all men. You said you would help me. When you leave, get her stuff, please. Terry is finally taken out of the airport where she continues being difficult. Somebody film this! Terry. God yeah. damn it, leave me alone! Do you have anything? I have to search you, Terry, just to make sure you. Fucking two face! Terry. Get away from me! Yeah, you know, they, it's all gonna put my mask back, back on. Fuck you! Put my mask back on. She told me she would help me. She's a fucking two face! God damn it, fucking you. asshole! I just got you kicking, I was my, kicking my partner on camera, so. Yeah. I don't care! Okay. I've never been in jail in my life! I didn't do anything! I'm arrest for public I'm court. not in talking I told you to talk to the bartender! Please help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me. Somebody, please help me! Let go of these 
these cops. Buckle, man. Man, you need to step man, up. You need to step up. I won't step up. Just let go of the cops. They're killing me. Okay. I, I can't well, do you anything. Stand up. You stand up on Just your own. Just let go of the cops. Stand up on your own. You stand up on your stand own. Stand up and step in. Okay, man. Take, take your left up. foot and put Next it up there, okay? Let go of the cops. We're not taking the cuffs off. I'm not fucking doing anything unless you let go man, of these you fuck. Gonna, you, you gonna I can't do it. I can't do anything! She carries on like this for some time, but the officers eventually manage to get her into the cruiser. At this point, her true, incredibly racist colors come out. Oh, you fucking asshole! You want the other one? No. Alright. I'm fucking eating you! I'm fucking... Alright, dude. Fuck, goddamn, damn, damn this fucking... I don't give a shit! Yeah, I said it! Don't hurt my feelings. Good. Thank you. Fucking absolutely. Just take me to fucking jail. I'm done with 744 and get with you. Yeah. The one year memorial of George Floyd being killed by one of your own fucking assholes. How do you like that? Yeah, I have nothing to say about that, you fucking black officer. Fucking piece of shit. Terry calls the officer a racial slur several times and brings up slavery and George Floyd. Ma'am, can I ask you a question? No, you're not. Can't. No, you can't. You asked. You just said something about George Floyd's memorial, but you called me. So how did that? How does that work out? Because you all are. Ah, got all it. All fucking slaves. Okay, got it. Fucking Southern society. Thank That's you. why you're in. Oh, man. Thanks. And he is too. Your <laughs> fucking comrade. He's a fucking white nigga. Wow. Great. That's what we get for serving yeah. the country in the military, huh? After she is taken back to the station, the officers go through her stuff and find a weed pipe, which is legal in Terry's home state of Washington, but illegal in Texas. Terry was booked and charged with marijuana possession, public intoxication, and resisting arrest. Being kicked out of the airport is humiliating, but what's even more embarrassing is getting kicked off of the airplane in front of everyone. You're gonna have to get off the aircraft, yeah, okay? I'm already getting it. You're gonna get arrested if you don't stand up and get off the aircraft. Problem. That's my fight. Like, you need to... No, Sit. we're getting to the point where you're not expecting... You're not... On July 7, 2021, Lee County Port Authority officers arrive at a Delta flight to deal with a disruptive passenger. A flight attendant speaking with a Port Authority officer as he entered the plane said that the passenger in question, 23-year-old Adelaide, was acting strange and also had to be told numerous times to put on her mask. The flight attendant told the officer that Adelaide had to be removed from the flight. Okay. Hello. We're, we're going to take you off the aircraft. you at you yep, you're gonna have to get off the aircraft, yeah, okay? Yeah, and you're out there, yep. and I compliment you in that way. Anyways. She's a representative of the aircraft. They don't want you flying on their plane today, okay? So you're gonna have to get After off the aircraft. After they made us wait and wait and wait. Yep, that's the way it is, but right now I'm gonna and need you. And that's fine, and I will respect that. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to grab your bag and just and step off the aircraft. And I did not do aircraft. anything, actually. Disrespect. We'll talk about Disrespect. it outside. Disruptive, besides speak my mind. Okay. I know what I live in America. That's what fucking America's right. about. No, you know Listen that. Me. Grab no. your bag. You know that. You know that. Give me another unit on the plane, please. If you really, if you are ever gonna put hands on grab me. Grab your bag. No, I will grab my bag. But you don't wanna sit here and zone up to say the no one's and gonna put you, their hands on you. Unless all right, yeah, yeah, you grab won't. Your bag and yeah, yeah, you your... won't. Okay, but I need you to get up. No. Okay. You need me to get up? You may need me to get up, but you know what I feel my need to do as a person? Just like Jesus motherfucking Christ. You need to call No, out. no, I'm gonna do call what I need out. to do. I'm gonna say what I need to do. And if you, you're gonna do whatever you feel you need okay. to do to me, right? right? So I'm gonna say what I am meant to say. Right. No, to everybody. Stand up, man. Yeah, everybody is you're doing this. You're gonna get arrested if you do not I'm stop. I'm already gonna get arrested. You're gonna get arrested if you don't stand up and get off the I'm aircraft. probably already gonna get arrested. Do you wanna get arrested? I really Then honestly, stand up and get off the aircraft. That's all you I have really to do. I really, it's not about that, man. Okay. You can do I'm gonna ask you one activity. more time, and then I'm gonna have to put my but hands on you. Okay. For what reason? Because no, you're not no, let me ask you that. Uh, you you're gonna put you're no no no. And that's fine. That's fine. 
Why do you have a right to put your hands on me, though? Yeah, let's go, Russ. Come on. No, go why do you have a right to put your hands Man. on me? Adelaide seems intoxicated, her speech is slurred, and she is having a hard time reasoning with the officer and understanding basic instructions. She refuses to leave the airplane even after being told several times. The officer informs her that if she refuses to comply, they'll deplane the aircraft and arrest her. Please, why can you just tell me that? Like, I'm actually asking you as At a person. At this point, here's what's happening. They're going to deplane the aircraft. I'm going to take you off the that plane. That was already happening. Don't And you're going to jail. Just so no, you know. That was already happening. It, it won't happen okay. if you get up and walk out with me right now. Yeah. But if you're not going to... Yeah. Right now, they're going to deplane. Oh, as soon as they deplane, you're going to jail, okay? <laughs> if you do not get up. That's how it's going to work. Do you see how that's a threatening system? That's the way it that's is, man. That's not cool. Are I want to trust you. You want to trust me? That's not healing. We're not healing. Okay, get off that's the plane. Come on. Healing. Get off the plane. Can I trust you to not... Plane? Plane? Mm. Let's go. Yeah, Off the plane. You Grab your stuff. Grab your stuff. Are get you gonna, the can I touch you? Uh, Listen, have I touched you yet? I'm trying to get you off the aircraft. That's all we're trying to do. To a control situation. If I get off the plane, no. you said you wouldn't arrest me. So you as a cop should have to honor that. Yes. Right? No, you should though. You should have to honor that. That's my right. Go talk to the captain and tell him we need to remove no, it. it really is though. That's my right. It's like you need to. No, Sit. we're getting to the point where you're not expecting, you're not respecting my human rights Let's as go. a constitution. Oh, that's not true. Cool. I Let's didn't do on. anything that did anything to No, man. Nice on the right here. Sorry, Get over here. Oh. Up against the wall. You're going to be okay, close to the handcuffs, okay? I didn't, I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, we, we tried talking to you. No, you, you really didn't. I talked back to you and I was calm. And you yeah, honestly acknowledged me for a moment right. and then you didn't. Take your hands there. Why did you do that? Like that. You didn't have to do that like that. It okay. didn't have to be like that. Come with me. I wasn't doing it. Come with me. No, man. <laughs> this shit is fucked up and you are a part of this. This is fucked you are. You had your chance, ma'am. <laughs> my chin. I you didn't you, even give me I a chance. I looked at you in your eyes you and I knew you were lying to me. No, no. Don't. You can't bullshit me, Sugar. That's funny. No. That was the resistance that you felt. No. Uh, five You're times better than that, that plane. Dude. Adelaide was charged with resisting arrest, trespassing, and interfering with aircraft operations, and pleaded no contest. She received a concurrent sentence of 16 days in Lee County Jail and six months probation. She was also ordered to have a psychiatric evaluation as well as an evaluation for substance abuse. Everyone hates entitled people like Adelaide, but the next person on the list takes it to a whole new level. I asked for an aisle. They gave me a middle seat. How is that my problem? I'm not asking you about my side. I'm asking you what I have done on the plane. You caused a disturbance. They have deplaned. No, the I did not cause a disturbance. On December 31st, 2021, a woman by the name Jacqueline threw a tantrum in the airplane after she was given a middle seat instead of the aisle seat in Salt Lake City. The commotion forced the airline to deplane all passengers on the flight to safely remove her from the airplane. The airline tried refunding her ticket, but eventually had to call the police to calm the situation down. As the police arrived, at the gate, they witnessed Jacqueline yelling and arguing with an airline supervisor. They did not take me off the plane, and I have a reason to go to Alaska. You guys messed up my flight ticket. They messed up my flight ticket. I asked for an aisle. They gave me a middle seat. How is that my problem? Okay. So. This is all about the seat thing, okay? So did they ask you to talk to you about anything about changing seats? I told them, then the girls let me sit where I wanted to sit, and then they okay. Okay. took hey, me we'll off talk. the plane. Okay. But I walked We're, off okay. allowing. They did hey. not arrest me. They did not handcuff me. Hey, they did not to, touch me to get to off the plane. What's going on? So nobody, that they need to let me either they need to buy me a hotel ticket and get me okay. back to New York or they need to let me aboard the plane because I already board the plane. Okay, so we'll figure out from them what's going on. Okay, we'll but figure out because right now, right now, hey, well. we're here for like your behavior. Okay, my behavior. Yeah. Okay, There's I got hey. a plane for the aisle seat. 
they gave me an E, which is a m middle C. That is not what I paid ID? for. You have your ID? As soon as the officers arrive at the scene, they realize Jacqueline is not willing to cooperate with them. She keeps talking over the officer and refuses to listen. Let's come over here yeah. so that we'll have a seat over there. All right, well, you better get me a f***ing hotel. So we're going to talk and figure out what Delta is going to... Yes. We'll have to see them on the corner. Right here. So on your side, you requested a seat. You didn't get that seat. And now... That's what I'm trying. Like, we're here. Did you walk off the plane? They say, like, let's get off the plane. Are you flying anymore? I'm going to Alaska. I'm going to Seattle, yeah. and then I'm going to Alaska. Quick. All right. No, I'm trying to listen to you. You don't need to right now. I need to. to. It's my privilege. How is that the nice? What have I done? Well, they're trying, Seriously, they're trying to work what with have I done? Check. Now go with me. You have no idea. They're they're trying to work. Work. They have they're tried to work with me by taking me off the train? Well, what is can you say? Do you have a decision here? Well, ask them. Ask them. Listen to your side, and I listen to their I'm not asking you about my side. I'm asking you what I have done on the plane. Did I touch someone? Did so, I touch someone? So what was your name, Please explain it. Have I spoken to someone? Did you, I touch someone? Okay, Please tell me if I've spoken to someone and I've touched someone. Okay, Delta Dude, has, who's paying for my ticket? You're going to have to, you got refunded. I got refunded for go. to live in Utah? Yeah, Jacqueline, okay? We're going to walk out. Eventually, the officers get frustrated and tell Jacqueline that if she doesn't cooperate with them, they'll have to arrest her. I don't live in Utah! Jacqueline, at this point, we're helping you to go get rebooked. You keep doing this yelling, we're going to look at criminal charges, okay? Disorderly conduct. Dude, is... this is on you, though! This is not on me, okay? Yeah, this you is caused, on you! You caused a disturbance. They have deplaned No, I did not cause a disturbance! Jacqueline? They told me I would get an aisle! Jacqueline, All right, dude, give me my... Uh, come here. Give me my... I didn't okay. do... Let's go Stop! Here, hands behind your back. Stop! Hands behind your back. Now, Stop! Hands behind your back. Stop! Hands behind your back. Stop! I don't live in you. Stop resisting. Hands Stop. behind your back. I don't live in you. Hands behind your back. Stop resisting. Hands behind your back. Oh, I don't live in you. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. No! Jacqueline, this hand behind your back. Put this hand no. behind your back. Put this hand behind your back. Stop it. Stop. Jacqueline, stop resisting. Stop resisting. Ow. Put your hand Ow. behind your back. Stop resisting. Where's the car, Sarge? Let's go. Let's go. She was arrested after several warnings and escorted out of the airport. Jacqueline blamed the airline staff the chaos she had caused, but just like the next person on the list, she had no one but herself to blame. I cannot f***ing afford the next f***ing ticket so they for the next f***ing thing I just told you. The same f***ing thing I just f***ing told you. On March 2nd, 2021, the Broward County Sheriff's Department responded to a call from a distressed customer at the Spirit Terminal in Fort Lauderdale Airport in Florida. The caller stated that a disgruntled customer at the Spirit Terminal started yelling and spitting at the employees after she missed her flight by 45 minutes. Upon waking up, she demanded that her place be restored, but when management informed her that they couldn't assist, she had a meltdown and attempted to assault Spirit employees. What's up? I can't board her in that manner. Okay. Bro, are you serious? All right. Las you Vegas flight? You call the fucking cabbie. You're not, listen. Listen, listen, you're not being Listen, I'm not fucking intoxicated. I can get on the fucking plane. I cannot fucking afford the next fucking ticket. So where the fuck is the manager and who the fuck is paying for my next fucking ticket? She is the manager. Because I'm not paying for this shit. She is the manager. Okay, then you can pay for the it take it for me to get to California because I'm not paying for this. I'm perfectly fine. She, I'm not she, uh, fine. I know. She's refunded. Yeah, yeah. I'm not refunded. No, they are. Pay for the next what? Pay for a period. Come talk to me, please. The woman denies being intoxicated and demands the airline worker pay for her ticket, even though she was the one who overslept. The officer then asks her to tell her side of the story. And what happened when you got it? I don't know. I was literally sleeping. I can, listen, I'm standing right here. I was sleeping waiting for the f 
The plane, bro. Oh, where, over here? Literally, right there, yes. Okay, so then what happened? Yes. So then what happened? Well, you were sleeping, you woke up. I woke up uh -huh. to them complaining about me. I wait, don't wait. understand what, do what the were, problem is. What were they complaining? I just want to get on the plane. I just want to go home. So let's see. I had a mask. I had the... This was fine. I got through TSA perfectly fine. So I'm good. This is the f***ing mask. All right. So Thank Ms. you. Miss Diaz. Yes. Let's go, let's go talk up front. No, I want to talk right here. You can't Because I'm on. not going. I'm getting on the f***ing plane. See, the door's closed. They can't reopen. I'm not paying for this shit. I'm not talking about... I'm not paying Listen, for it. I'm, I'm not, not doing that. I'm not saying you have to pay for anything. <laughs> Although it is somewhat understandable for the woman to react this way since she can't afford another ticket, she's only adding fuel to the fire by not cooperating with the deputies, causing disruptions in an airport like this woman here is doing is a misdemeanor offense, but depending on the severity, can lead to up to a year in prison and hefty fines. As the deputy explains this to the woman, she realizes she might end up in jail, so she starts listening to the deputy's commands. However, it seems that old habits die hard. All right. If you don't stop now, you're just gonna have, you're gonna have to come with me and, and go to the, the county jail. If that's the if that's what you want, that's what we can do. It's up to you right now. Make a decision. What are you gonna put me in jail for? I, I'm for not, I haven't done anything illegal. For being in an airport, you're causing a disturbance. You can be arrested for that. Let's go then you go, then no. you, it's either you go front with me or you go to jail. It's one or the other. <laughs> that's the only two choices we have. Where do you want me to go? What the oh, f you want me to talk about this shit? Oh, I told you. The same f***ing thing I just f told you. Can you put your hands behind your back? No, I'm not getting arrested. I'm not getting arrested. Oh, no. I don't need to get arrested, bro. I'm fine. I'm listening to you. We're talking, bro. No, you're not listening. Yes, I am. You don't need to arrest me. You do. No, you don't. You don't need to arrest me. I'm gonna have to take a 1019 because I don't have a. I'm in a pool car. I don't have a printer or nothing. Please, please, please. Please, can we just talk about it outside? I don't can we what? Can we just talk about whatever it is we want to talk about outside? I gave you like four or five opportunities. The woman was booked and charged with public intoxication, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out when stalkers get caught red-handed.